Hello everybody and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be discussing the topic Are guinea pigs hard to care for? So I'm going to be going over some things you're going to have to do on a day to day basis with your guinea pigs and at the end of the video you can decide if a guinea pig is still the right pet for you or not. Looking after guinea pigs can be a lot harder than you would expect and that's why a lot of the times people will home their guinea pigs because they get them without knowing how hard they can actually be to look after. So let's go on with the video. The first thing you're going to have to do every day is make sure you give your guinea pigs fresh hay. Hay is such an important thing to a guinea pig's diet and it should make up 80% of a guinea pig's diet. Guinea pigs need hay to keep their digestive system working smoothly but they also needed to keep their teeth down. Without hay their teeth could overgrow and it could cause dental problems. Hay is also a good source of vitamin C as guinea pigs actually can't make their own vitamin C so you'll have to make sure they're getting it other ways with their hay, with carrots and with their pellets and things like that. And your guinea pigs should have access to fresh hay 24-7. The next thing you're going to have to do every day is give your guinea pigs fresh vegetables. This can be lettuce, leafy greens, bell peppers, kale, carrots and you can also give them fruits twice a week. So you can give them fruits like raspberries, strawberries, blueberries and things like that but make sure that's only as a treat because it is high in sugars and you don't want to give your guinea pigs too much of that. You can also give your guinea pigs cabbage and broccoli and things like that, but these are quite gassy foods, so make sure this is only once, twice a week also. Vegetables should make up 15% of your guinea pigs diet. The next thing you're going to have to make sure your guinea pigs get is nuggets. Nuggets are made, mostly made up of hay, you want to make sure you're giving them nuggets and not muesli. Muesli is full of sugars and things like that, so you just want a plain nugget which is mostly made up of hay. Some people actually don't feed their guinea pigs nuggets, I like to because again it gives them the extra vitamin C and I know my guinea pigs love it. And nuggets should make up 5% of your guinea pigs diet. Another thing you're going to want to do every day is clean your guinea pigs cage or spot cleaning. Guinea pigs are really messy animals and they do 20 poops on average an hour. I have 4 guinea pigs so that's 80 poops an hour I have to clean up. You should be looking to clean your guinea pig cage fully out once or twice a week and spot cleaning every single day so this will be picking up the soiled areas and picking up the poops and things like that. You'll also want to wipe the floor and things with a disinfectant just so all the peas and smells go away. Guinea pigs don't tend to smell but if you don't clean them they will obviously. If you have fleecy items you'll also want to take them out and wash them and then put them back in the cage. Next thing you're going to want to do on a day to day basis is take your guinea pig out of the cage. You don't want to leave your guinea pig locked in the cage all day. You're going to want to either attach a run or bring your guinea pig out for an hour to two hours a day. This is also really good for taming your guinea pig. You can sit and let them crawl over you and sit and feed them treats and things like that and this will be good for them getting to know you a bit better. You can also set a run outside and let your guinea pigs play in the grass and chew the grass and they'll love that too. It is really important that you let your guinea pigs out to explore new areas and don't just leave them in the cage all day because it's like staying in the house all day, it'll get boring. So you want to make sure your guinea pigs can go out and you could set up little bits for them to run about and things like that. Another thing you could do when you have your guinea pig out is hand feed them. This is also really good for taming and they'll also love just eating the treats out your hand and the vegetables out your hand. Something I love to do is bring my guinea pigs up the house and just set them on my lap and watch TV while they're sitting eating their vegetables and they love that too. So something you don't have to do on a day to day basis but you should be trying to do it once a week is health check your guinea pig. So check their ears, eyes, mouth, nose, skin and fur, paws and things like that just so you can spot any signs of early illnesses. Because guinea pigs are pretty prone to illnesses like ringworm and hay poke so you want to try and spot them early and then you can treat them. Another thing you're going to want to do is actually weigh your guinea pigs, keep on top of their weight, if they're losing weight that may be signs of something's wrong with them and you might want to try and get them to a vet. And that is it for the video, as you can see guinea pigs can be kind of challenging to care for but they're one of the most rewarding and amazing pets and I really love looking after my guinea pigs and I can't imagine life without them. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video, if you did don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and all that good stuff and I'll see you in my next video, bye guys.